welcome to Earth Plays Death Knights of Crit. So we are currently exploring the wilderness, and we just defeated a Quoto slave ship, and we need to train and identify some things, but we're here, so we'll go in here right now. Sounds kind of ominous, doesn't it? you want to do that? Okay, I think we're done. He doesn't think we're done. Okay, then. Why do you want to trap Kendo? God. So, no. Okay, good. We got out. So, Kryn gnomes are... ...not entirely like normal gnomes. Whatever normal gnomes of great point is, the ones on Kryn are usually considered annoying by most people who don't love them. There are un however, undead beasts in a gnome village are still quite notice notable. Philosopher's Oratory. The gnome shakes your hand, then begins. You can call me Quartzburkle. Did you know that all of reality is subjective? How can we really exist if we don't create a machine that is constantly aware of the existence of each and every one of us? It's a great task that some gnome in this town must take to task. The machine would need to... dot dot dot, and then he apparently stops, or... More likely, we are assumed to stop listening to him. More 
and dead beasts. Well, at least I don't close there this time. So. Lots of undead beasts here, apparently. Fifty-two. Wonder if it's any more edifying than the previous one. Philosopher's Oratory. The little gnome bobs his head in excitement. I am Quizmark Somatix. Did you know that if each gnome is given to according to his ability and taken from according to his need or weight, is that if each gnome is taken from according to his ability or weight, was that if each gnome... dot dot dot, and it trails off. And more undead beasts, who at least babble less than the first do.
mich da mal an der Bild. is where are all these undead beasts coming from? Because gnome wacky tech is vastly more likely to result in explosions than undead beasts. Okay, the education guild has a dilemma and hopefully won't hold me prisoner. Skull and gnome. No one is interested in education anymore, says one of the studious-looking gnomes, as he look, works on a learning device that occasionally makes a loud noise. Ever since the Sage Guild got together with the Engineering Guild, the entire town has been in a mess. Machines, soldiers, monsters. He mumbles for a while, then continues, As a result, no one wants to help us find a way to teach our children how to make things. Is there any way you can help us? Okay, looks like there isn't anything else in here particularly. And... Ah, this time it doesn't even tell me what the gnomes say. Weapon Guild Leader. I'm the leader of the Weapons Guild. Recently, a series of bright lights, loud noises, and explosions rocked this town. This is not unusual in our village, except I have never seen so much of it. I figured it must be an invasion. We quickly got together our best troops and our latest weaponry. Another gnome interrupts to say he hopes the two guards haven't been hurt too badly. We hope you can help us find and defeat our enemy if you are truly the heroes you appear to be. He may well be right. This is an invasion, actually. And we need to rest. Ooh, this looks... Yeah. since I encountered an un- 
heading introduction. Well, that's certainly early. Welcome. Now my only cleric of Michigan. Yeah, his strength is twenty-two, so I should prepare more enlarges. Lisa could pick the lock on the dread. That's not a gnome. Okay, journal entry forty one. Evil Mage's spirit, it says, though he does not appear to be a spirit. After Mirtani's army was defeated, I fled the battlefield and stumbled across this village. His eyes glass over for a second, then he spouts, Gnomes! He shakes his head in disgust. One of them had just invented something that actually worked, some kind of mechanical picture-making device. Suddenly the whole town was up in arms, and some of the villagers were blockading the inventor in his workshop. A sinister grin appears on his face. Replacing the inventor would solve all of my problems. I could hide and become more powerful without anyone even knowing that I exist. He rolls his head back in laughter. I had no trouble sneaking in and killing the unfortunate gnome who had created the machine. Just to make sure, I set up some traps so the villagers would think he had become a hermit. I let my pets out to create more confusion. After you are gone, I can get back to my studies and become the most powerful wizard on Crin. Yeah, I don't think that's the way this is going to work out. Just one beast, so yeah, it does look like I killed off almost all his undead beasts. And he is a black wizard, not a high wizard, so... Yeah, this is apparently going to be the easiest fight I've had in the village. dropped some things I wasn't able to loot from him for some reason. And now more people. Eyes of Charming. And two potions, which Saraston cannot take. I guess her inventory is full. Yep, well, she can use those if she needs to.
this video here. Next time we'll rest and then explore some more. Thanks for watching and see you then.